Hello and welcome back everybody. This is obviously Light Liger here and today we're gonna be jumping back into the magical world of Ethereum DeFi and I'm gonna be doing this sort of a short tutorial slash overview of this platform that everybody seems to be mispronouncing and not too badly though. So everybody is calling it Ave. And that's how an English person would pronounce it. But this is actually a Finnish word and it's pronounced Aave. Aave. So it's a bit more a longer A in the beginning, not Ave, it's Aave. That's how you pronounce it and it means ghost in English actually. And uh, I think there was a, like a one Finnish guy in the developer team and he probably came up with the idea and everybody just rolled out with it and... Uh, I guess it's a nice name and nice, you know, uh, homage to the Finnish community, I guess, which have done actually a fair share of contributions, especially in Bitcoin. But let's talk about Ave. I'm going to be calling it Ave because it's hard to um, jump from my English accent to the Finnish one. So I'm just going to be calling it Ave. Ave is the correct pronunciation. So this is basically a non-custodial protocol, which is open source that allows money markets to basically create interests on deposits and borrow assets on their collateral. And currently there is um, integration with Aave's own market and then you have Uniswap and then Set Market, which is coming soon. I, I presume there's gonna be a lot more of these. And there's many platforms right now which are giving out, you know, nice um, return of investment for the amounts you have borrowed, centralized and decentralized. And I'm using both options actually right now. A lot of the decentralized ones are not always very competitive versus the centralized ones, but there's obviously a level of trust there, more perhaps for the code than an institution like a bank or something. So it's a great alternative to certain people. And it might be also a process where you don't need to do a KYC and might be obviously be a lot faster. So let's kind of <clears throat> look into the actual, this is the main page, but we're going to be taking a very quick look at this. So here you can see uh, the list of stable coins here. I think they have pretty much very competitive list of different stable coins here. And their rates are pretty good, especially for DAI, which is 6.84%. I think something like a centralized solution like Celsius, I believe are giving 8% on that. So this is a pretty competitive uh, percentage in my opinion. And that's why I actually have most of my DAI in uh, smart contract right now, I believe they're in combo as of now, but I have to actually compare them at some point. Right now, the fees are pretty high. So remember that the fee itself might be uh, the whole interest that you're going to be getting in the year for these stable coins. So make sure you, if you're going to be investing, lock up at least over $100 because otherwise you're probably going to be spending a dollar or two on just on the fees. And... Let's kind of jump into the actual protocol. So this is the actually where you need to log in. One big bonus I want to say here, obviously in the beginning that they're supporting actually many logins here, which is very ideal. Some of the other alternatives just have MetaMask or something else. So you have your Ledger, Coinbase, Wallet Connect, Format, Fortmatic. I don't know much about this one. I, is this a product by Matic? I don't know. I have to look into it. But, but first of all, what you have to do is log into your MetaMask account, you put in your password, and there we are logged in, choose browser wallet, and voila, you're in. Obviously, I just logged out before recording this video, so normally there would be, uh, you know, asking it to connect to the Aave protocol. And, and this is not, a, by the way, a sponsored video or anything. I just decided to talk about a lot of these DeFi projects because they're pretty hot stuff right now. And they are a very good way to generate extra revenue. So obviously any type of tips and lend or any Ethereum token you want to give me obviously goes for a long way and I can create more content as I get more paid. The, pay, the bills are not paying themselves and uh, you know, uh, the YouTube ad revenue isn't that great. It <laughs> barely gonna be paying my uh, internet and other fees that I have per month. But let's talk about Aave. So here's the interface and you can see 
The market size, how much has been borrowed. These are pretty high sums when you think about it. Three million has been borrowed by DeFi, which yes, these smart contracts are vetted probably and verified, but it's still a pretty new industry and there has been a lot of hacks and problems in, but people still trust the system. So they have been, you know, putting here 7 million, 2.3 million here. A lot of people are taking a lot of money here. And it's a pretty great system, unlike the normal banking system where they can loan money even if they don't have anything. So uh, that's pretty nice. But let's um, run a hypothetical where th this is, by the way, the bas d dashboard. And we're going to be doing a deposit now. And here are the balances that I have right now. And this, by the way, as I said in the beginning, I'm going to be probably losing money on these transactions because the fees are so high right now. And something like 0.59% is not really that much in bad, in my opinion. Um, you know, in ter I don't think it's going to be growing that much in the future. I think its price is going to be staying stable. But I don't think that we're going to be seeing a skyrocket price for this token in the future. I'm still holding into it, but I haven't sold it. And so that's why we're going to be using DAI for the test instead. So I'm going to be putting $4.00 in DAI and the ROI as I said 6.84% so that means that okay that's going to be there for a year if you had $100 that would be free $6 that is a very competitive rate when we compare it to a lot of the fiats and this is how it would work you click continue and it's loading first thing you have to obviously approve everything this is going to be costing a small sum itself 28 cents and we have to now wait, obviously, until the transaction has been done on the actual chain. And after this, the deposit actually happens. And then basically it's there. I think we might need to enable it for one more time before it's basically in uh, the pool, so to speak, where it can be borrowed. And we can obviously withdraw this money at any point we want to from the actual system. So that's what I like about it. Some of these centralized solutions have a lock-in period or in case of Celsius, they pay only per week. Uh, this is going on real time, far as I know, or daily, you will be paid out the interest. So you are getting interest over and over again. And for example, in Compound, it goes by the block. So you can see how much you have made. And that's kind of the beauty of the DeFi that you don't need to keep it there for the year. You can keep it for a week and accrue the interest of the week, which is very minimal. But maybe somebody needs money really, really fast. And that's the way to go for them. Let's try to refresh the page after actually if the um, transaction has gone through. Um, okay, and let's see on the MetaMask, has it been, it's still pending here and now it doesn't show here on, so I guess you shouldn't refresh the page in general, but I don't think we have to uh, do it again. So here's the Ether scan, estimated confirmation duration, 15 minutes. That's always very lovely when recording video and you have to wait for the chain to update. So I'm probably gonna be cutting the video right now and coming back in a second. And now after two hours, the transaction has been confirmed and now we're gonna be clicking submit for deposit. And this is obviously also gonna be costing some gas. I'm gonna be putting that bit higher in case uh, this is gonna be taking a bit longer time to actually confirm. And now that the actual transaction has gone through, we can see the actual die here on the platform, which is actually moving every second up. So it's accruing interest over time here on the actual platform. And now that you have provided collateral on the website, you're able to borrow also currencies here now. And each of them obviously have their different return rates and everything like that. So in case we would want to have Ethereum, we could get 0.01 Ethereum right now if I would want to borrow it uh, from the platform. Or I can borrow something else as well. If I want to borrow DAI, that is also an option. And here is the amount that I would be getting based on the collateral that I have provided in to the smart contract. And they have also added this new feature, which basically 
would allow me now, now that I have provided collateral to the platform, I can give that collateral to another person. Let's say you want to loan something, but you don't have anything to provide to the platform, and I can actually provide the collateral system to you, which is a very, very cool idea, which we haven't really seen on another platform. So my overall thoughts about Aave is pretty much that it has a really nice selection of stable coins. We have some good altcoins here as, as well, Ethland, Basic Attention Token, Chainlink, which doesn't seem to have a very good um, deposit rate, sadly, and that really applies with a lot of these decentral on Maker, Augur. Uh, these are not very good rates, but then again, if you are owning massive bags and you believe these are tokens that could call like 100 up in next few years, then it's extremely good opportunity still. But that's pretty much my rundown of Aave. It's not really that hard to use really when you think about it, so it's pretty simple process and you can withdraw at any point, as I said, but only the problem right now is that huge gas fees. So make sure you count everything at the F gas station, really good website to basically see what are the actual costs right now. And I think with a lot of these type of platforms, until we get the layer two solutions on Ethereum, we will not see uh, f bigger adoption on the smart contracts because right now I just think that there's just too much fees involved in D5 for smaller investors like me. But thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also drop me some money <laughs> tips, you know, so I can buy bread to the table. Um, as always, I appreciate you. I will see you next time. Cheers.